let me change the color uh not this one after networking we will get to the third point that is security part okay we will get into security part okay i'm mapping it to the notebook we are getting into security part okay we have discussed all these uh, parts components before okay and the starting of the video if these part are not clear go back to those videos now we are coming to the security part here we will try to demystify the fact that who is responsible for the security okay security of the applications who is responsible okay who is responsible for security okay who is responsible for the security of the application or the data you are uh, you are generating or the application you are making either it is you the user or the provider that is aws you know in this case okay who is responsible for the security of your data of your application first point will be this shared resp responsibility model okay this is a term which shared responsibility responsibility model okay this will tell us who is responsible okay this will tell us who is responsible for the security okay this will tell us who is responsible for the security of the application or the data involved with the application now i am trying to explain you shared responsibility model okay uh, just giving one example okay the example will go like this say you are working in a team okay as you are working in a team and you want to give some access to some of the members okay some of the member of your team okay then you need not to share the uh, complete instance that means you need not to share the complete virtual machine to to your colleagues okay for that you need not to give your aws account credential to the person okay or to the colleague you want to share your instance with and for that we will uh, learn something which is called iam iam okay and this iam have three part one is policies policies groups okay and rules and rules okay <clears throat> So I am here three part the policies part the group part and the role part that is I am policies I am groups and I am roles. So what I have told you right now that in security we need to understand either we are responsible for the security or the cloud provider. In our cases AWS is responsible for the security. Okay. Then the second part I discussed that based on shared responsibility model this will tell us who is responsible. Okay. And then then I said in some condition if you want to share some instances with your colleagues. So you need not to give them your address, uh, maybe credit field, okay, the password and everything. What you can use instead is I am share model, okay. And in that you can use I am share model, I am share group, and I am share rules. Here we will make I am uh, account for them, okay. I am account That's for right. them, okay. And we will decide which policies to make for them. Which policies to make for them? Policies means what they can access, how they can access, how much they can access. This is what we will define under the policy. Okay. In this process, I will try to explain you more security which AWS provides us. Okay. Some other security part with which AWS provides AWS provides us to make our data or our applications more secure. Okay. So in the process of this one, I will try to explain all of this stuff to you. Okay. Now we will head back to the fourth point. As uh, we can uh, let let's go back for the mapping and this is the storage. Okay. This is the storage thing. So in storage, let's come to the fourth point. Which we will require make our instance, and that will be fourth point will be storage. Okay. So this is the fourth point that is storage. Okay. Uh, why storage? Because you can need extra space in your instance to save something. Okay. Oh, so I have told you uh, before that the storage can be a STD. Okay. And one or maybe an HTTP. So we will we will look into it. What kind of storage is AWS is providing us okay. What kind of storage storage AWS will provide us for our instances okay. In the process, we will see three kind of storage that is block okay, block level, another one is file level okay, and another one is object level kind of storage. So we will discuss, I will, I will, I will discuss you, I will explain you okay, no worries. Then I will try to give you some of the bullet points. Okay, when to choose which one? Okay, when to choose block level or file level or maybe object level storage. Okay, when to choose which one? Okay, then I will try to explain it to you. Now, one interesting thing you will get to know: storage is uh, maybe storage is not uh, uh, maybe complete. Okay, 
it is not a complete solution then what we require we will require databases okay based on our problem we will require databases okay because the storage is not the complete solution so in some of the use cases we require database too okay so this time i will discuss some of the databases in aws okay uh, some of the databases in aws what are those different databases okay what aws what kind of different databases aws will provide us i will discuss to some point on that and uh, in the process we will see uh, aws relational database okay aws relational database okay this aws provide us these kind of relational database okay and we will uh, maybe try to look into them relational database some of the relational database uh, services which i was talking about okay i will give the services to some of the services like sql up to that oracle postgresql these are some of the services okay and one such relational database service which aws uh, provide us is amazon azure okay that is amazon and uh, we will uh, i will i will dive you i will maybe dive you uh, in this amazon azure with me okay azure amazon azure okay so we will uh, we will dive in amazon azure and i will uh, show you some of the nitigities of amazon azure okay and after that uh, i will show you one uh, no sql database uh, of no sql database which amazon supports okay and uh, and that database uh, will be dynamo db so after completing databases uh, we will get into let's say, uh, we will get into let me first uh, uh, map it to the notebook we have completed databases okay databases uh, amazon azure which is relational database provided by aws and then no relational database will be dynamo db after that we will come to the data warehouse okay so after that uh, i will try to maybe take you with me to the data warehouse data warehouse okay and uh, in data warehouse what we will do uh, let me put this point over here i will try you to explain what is uh, what in first place is data warehouse okay okay what is data warehouse okay then uh, we will uh, uh, read uh, red set which is a data warehouse provided by Uh, this AWS, okay. Then I will try to explain you some of the feature of Redshift. Some of the feature of Red Redshift, okay. So Redshift is very scalable, and uh, we will uh, we'll see uh, when to use it, okay. When to use it, no problem. We will see all of it, okay. so what is it uh, then redshift and it features and we know this is very scalable after that when to use it when to use redshift okay after learning all of this okay let me map it to the notebook after learning all of this data warehouse database storage security networking and compute one must know part is uh, auto scaling okay so let me choose one more color for it and then uh, maybe i will try to get into it okay so i'm telling it better And there comes the second part. Third, the seventh part that is auto scaling. Okay, auto scaling. Here comes the part of auto scaling, the important part. So I will try to show you what is auto scaling. Okay, so what part of auto scaling? Okay, I will try to explain you. Then after what I will get into how. Okay. how to do auto scaling on aws okay then i am getting into how part okay what is auto scaling first i will complete what uh, and after that i will uh, show you how to do it on aws cloud after all this i will cover a uh, load balancer okay load balancer okay and how to use it okay and what is load balancing how to work with that so i will uh, on auto scaling i will uh, take care of everything what is auto scaling how to do it and what is load load balancing and what are load balancing and we have many other thing to discuss like serverless computing and other things but uh, for now uh, we will uh, uh, maybe focus more on these because these are the core okay these are the core idea of aws so yes we will focus more on it and after that uh, this is all for this video i will see you in the next video